I trust that you'll forgive me my enthusiasms. For example, today I'm wearing my favorite retro baseball jacket for this particular video, just because it does have to do with Cubans, Cuban music, and also about New York City. I was very, very lucky in the 1980s, 1990s, when I lived in New York, to get to know a lot of prominent Cuban musicians who were living there. The pianist Mirta Gomez, her own teacher Edmundo Lopez, a wonderful Cuban teacher Herman Diaz, and the remarkable Spanish-Cuban composer-pianist Joaquin Nincomel. These people became friends, mentors, inspirations to me, and I grew to love the piano music of Cuba at that time. I've just played for you a Cuban danza by Ignacio Cervantes, who was pretty much the father of that particular form. This one is called Almendares. It's named after the river that runs through Havana. Cervantes wrote his 35 or so Cuban dances, not in Cuba, but actually in New York City, where he was in exile in the 1870s. And so it's no you know, surprise that those pieces are suffused with nostalgia and a sense of longing. Here's another Cuban danza by Ignacio Cervantes with the even more poignant title of No Lloras Mas, or Weep No More. I think it was this very enigmatic ending to this piece that inspired Joaquin Nincomel to write a similar Cuban danza many, many decades later, at the end of his life in the 1990s, as one of his collection of 12 of these. This was the last of those Cuban danzas, and he gave this one the same title, No Lloras Mas, a kind of homage to Cervantes. And he uses Cervantes' same melodic material in this piece, but he expands upon it and somehow finishes the riddle. <laughs> 